So this is a timing light, and I just diagnosed my PO300 code with it. If you've got the PO300 code, it might be a good place to begin. I originally started with the PO308 code, which would be the eight cylinders misfiring. Um, the 300 code means that, supposedly it means there's a random misfire between the cylinders. It's totally vague. It could be something other than misfiring, like a vacuum leak. It could be a few different things, but an easy place to start would be to check the spark plug wires and to make sure they're firing. You don't have to pull them out. You don't have to risk getting shocked using a screwdriver. You can actually, I think, rent one of these for free up at a uh, local car supply place. AutoZone or O'Reilly's or whatever and you basically hook it up to the positive and negative side of the battery so this end slides back and fits over the wire this wire I was replacing and haven't tucked it away yet so you just put it on the wire like that and start the car started then you take the actual timing gun here timing light and this flashes every time there's a spark that goes through the wire so you pull the trigger here and you can see every time the number eight wire gets spark or each time the spark plug gets spark you see the light there so you basically just go around to each wire, pull this thing off, doesn't matter if the car is running or not, here's another wire, like I said I haven't put these away yet so they're all exposed here. that that spark plug wire is not getting any electricity. So what you do then is then replace that wire and see if you get the light flashing, get the spark going. That is the easiest way to check your wires. Place the wire, press the trigger, you can see I've got spark again, it's running smooth. Once the wire is replaced, clear the codes, start it up, and see if the uh, error returns. This is the uh, reader I use. You can also get your codes read for free at uh, AutoZone or O'Reilly's or Pep Boys or wherever it is that you get your car parts.